way the Full Belly Project works is that I have a wonderful, kind of crazy dream, and our board of directors and our executive director, Jeff, roll their eyes yet again, and then they roll their sleeves up and they try and make it happen. They get you here, they get in the ground like this going, it's quite amazing. So let me talk to you about my dream because that's why they corralled you all in here. Now I was going to stand up here and talk about our last year's dream, which was a slam dunk. This was something that could not fail. This was the Full Belly Project working with the universities of Florida and Georgia, well funded by USAID, great partners in Guyana and South America. And what we're going to do was to help 25,000 poor Indian families in the interior of Guyana, right tucked in where Brazil is, and get them into the mainstream of the economics of Guyana. Peanuts are native to South America, so for thousands of years they've been growing peanuts not very efficiently, and a few hundred miles north there's a big peanut butter factory called Tandy's that we're bringing in between 300 and 400,000 pounds of peanuts every year from China, turning it into peanut butter and shipping it into the Caribbean. And we could, with all of us put together, get these 25,000 farmers to take over that Chinese import of peanuts. We did it all right. The crop science guys went in and taught them how to do it. There was a factory in Georgetown that duplicated our pedal powered and, our, and our, our electric machines. We had transportation, we had, we had the whole thing set up. We were going to take over that Chinese market because all we had to do was get the price down. And it didn't happen. It absolutely didn't happen. It simply fell flat and it fell flat because the rains didn't come. The seedlings came up, there's no rain, everything died, they planted again. So we decided that we really had to start talking about water. Because you can have all the post-harvest processing in the world, but if you don't have water, you don't have anything. So this year, my dream is that we are going to get water pumping systems for these Amerindian families, these 25,000 people living in the South. And you're going to see if you fly overhead circles a green from the air with our pump in the middle, a 200 foot hose around the outside, and peanuts growing 52 weeks a year. And we can do that. And we, can, we can do it. We can do it because we've got a great support system. We've got you behind us. And, you know, we're all, it's going to happen. And if you do the math, the math is absolutely amazing on this. If you have a 200 foot circle, that's 2.8 acres. We've already tested our pump in Africa, and people say you could irrigate 2.8 acres with famine. 2.8 acres grows 8,400 pounds of peanuts per season, and you can have three crops per year. So if we can get a pump, like the one you saw up there, and 200 feet of our garden house, like you see at, at, at Stevens Hardware downtown, you can have people growing 25,000 pounds of peanuts per year. And that's our dream, and I want to be on the stage next year telling you about it. And the next thing is, and this is where you'll see our board of directors really rolling our eyes skyward, because I just got the word, we sent a pump down for people to look at. And on March the 10th of this year, in the middle of the drug-stricken region, that pump will be sitting in the middle of a group made up of Ghanaian cabinet ministers, the Minister of Economics and Agriculture, top guys from USAID and CETA, the Canadian International Development Agency, our partners on the ground, um, SOS, and they're going to figure out if they can get our pump to save agriculture in the Rupununi River Valley. And I want you to be looking at our website for the last that because I'm hoping for some good news. And that's my dream, and I want to be back here next year to tell you about it. <laughs> and it's all happening because of you. Because you can't just write a grant on a crazy idea. And as you've seen out there, there's some pretty crazy ideas. It takes too long to do, and it never happens. But if we want this to happen, the only people that can make it happen are the people of Wellington that have supported us 
so amazingly well. So unless your chiropractor specifically is told you not to do it, you just have a pat on the back. It's all going to happen. <laughs>